Welcome back to Let's Play Darkness Over Daggerford Enhanced Edition. Today we're exploring the Crab's Claw Coast. We're starting out with this hermit's camp. <laughs> Wogbog. Wogbog! His long stringy hair matted with dirt and dead leaves, a strange man waves a friendly greeting as you approach. And where are you? Me, Wogbog! He points to his emaciated chest and smiles a toothless grin. You got any foods? Wogbog vigorously scratches his hairy armpits, questing for hidden lice. He finds one and pops it into his mouth with unnatural pleasure. Uh, sorry, I can't spare any. Wogbog. The old hermit sadly shrugs his slumped shoulders with a heavy sigh and rubs his taut belly slowly. What you want to stop? Wogbog. I have questions for you. Wogbog? Have you seen anything unusual lately? Wogbog. Big sailing things in waters below crab cliffs. Nasty orcsies. Wogbog hides in bushes. Wogbog no looks for troubles. The old hermit shakes his head slowly as if lost in a painful memory. Alright, ask another question. Why do you live here? Pretty trees. Wogbog nods his unkempt head sagely before concluding his thoughts with a final Wogbog. Uh, what creatures live on these cliffs? Bugs. Tasty bugs. Wogbog likes bugs. Alright, no more questions. Um, yeah, let's take some berries. Fortunately, the delicate berries shatter like miniature ice crystals when you touch them. Huh. Alright, well, it may be worth bringing some meat or some. Actually, can I. get meat by, like, killing a deer? Nope, no remains. Okay, I'll just have to come back here then. Um, another berry bush. I feel like one of these is gonna have something. Oh, there is something down there. Um, can I take... I think I'm going to have to use some keyboard control here. Because this game does not like point-and-click pathfinding. Perfect. Wait, why are the seagulls hostile? Is it because I shot the deer? <laughs> I mean, all right. <laughs> oh, it's just a dead fish. Judging from the highly unpleasant smell, this dead fish has been rotting in the sun for several days. Hungry seagulls have already pecked out the fish's eyes. Examine the dead fish. Hidden inside the dead fish, you've spotted a glimmering ring. Ooh. An unidentified ring. Umberley's Blessed Band. Formed in a beachside forge from iron cooled by pure salt water, this iron is covered with a thin rippling pattern which is reminiscent of waves on the ocean. Touching the ring to your forehead and speaking Umberley's name will summon a water elemental to fight at your side. Intriguing. Uh, usable by anyone. So would it hurt to give Perfin a summon item? There's an Osprey here. Huh. Seems important if you're a druid. See what I mean about the pathfinding, though? There we 
go. Another berry bush. One of these days, she's going to let me kick that football. I just figure maybe one of them in particular will work. Ooh, there's a fissure down there. And there's not even an exit here. Oh, I see. I guess I just go along the beach down there. Because so there's no interactable thing that it's like a way down. Then again, a regular elemental is not as powerful as I thought. So I can't step into the water here. Um, and I can go along here. There's no prompt to go into that cave. Yeah, this is what I mean about, like, you kind of need to do keyboard controls or hold control. Hey, locals. Cave of Mists. Oh, this is... A season in the mists, lost ancient ornate key. That's the key I bought. A key that I found while trawling the incredible assortment of junk and treasures in Toilet's shop has opened an ornate gate, which I discovered in a cave on the Crab's Claw coast. Who knows how long it's been since anyone's passed this way. Through thick mists, I think I can see a building in the distance. Is that what you want to call it? I guess it is a building. House of Mists. Metastatics. Mirrored Vaporizers. That's the thing with keys, isn't it? Each one has its use, but a different lock is still a locked one. Having entered the stone building in the cave full of mist, the door immediately swung closed behind me and is now locked. I'd better search for a way out of here. Merely being in this place sends a shiver down my spine and makes my hair stand on end, and yet it is not altogether unpleasant. A wave of intense me melancholy washes over you, leaving the hairs on your body on end. What is this place? We are truly sorry if this hurts you. Hurry. From a distance, you thought maybe this creature before you was a statue, but now you, that you look closely, you see the glint of consciousness behind cloudy eyes. Even gazing upon this mysterious creature tears at your heart, and you're close to being overcome by a wave of almost unbearable sadness. Mere speech is obviously a huge effort, and the voice is rasping through lips unused to moving. Help me, please. Thradra Mare of the Elven people. How do you know my name? I don't know. I've never thought about it. Just explain to me what you do know, then. I know that you're Thradra Mare. Thradra Mare of the... The creature closes its eyes and winces, apparently in severe pain. Are you okay? No, it's... There is nothing you can do. When I try to think, I find that I don't know anything. Maybe if you try to be more precise... What is your name? My... I do not know. I... Your name is Thradra Mitnir of the Elven People. My, how strange. Never mind, let me ask you something else. What kind of a creature are you? I am a that I was made to be. You don't know what you are? 
one day. Yes, I would like very much to know myself. Well, I'll help you if I can. The creature looks at you with intensity. Let me ask you something else and see if we can make some progress then. Um, how long have you been there? Long forever, I think. I've been here forever? I don't understand. What do you mean by here? Here in this building. I think I understand. I am here as long as I remember. Is there somewhere not here? <laughs> I like that option. Well, that's a damn good question that we probably don't have time to get into. Um, but of course, there's a whole other, there's a whole world on the other side of that door. A world? I've never seen such a thing. Stop it! Your story makes me feel like crying. The creature looks at you sadly. Um, how did you come to this place? I did not come exactly. I was made here. Who made you? I cannot remember. Sometimes I want to know, but I cannot. Why can't you know? I think that everything about my maker is forgotten. You mean they've been gone a long time? I, yes, forgotten. They did not have the time to tell me of themselves. Why not? For a moment, the creature becomes almost lucid. The shadows came to kill and destroy everything, but the Maker was too far and in danger. I have to make keep everything safe until the Maker can return, but it is so long and I have never seen them. I cannot wait. The Maker is not coming back, I know it. Whoa, you've gained, regained the ability to speak normally. Regained, no. I have gained for the first time. And now you must help me, Thradra Mayor of the Elven people. Help me to destroy them once and for all, that I may fulfill my purpose. Destroy what? These shadows? These mists you see everywhere around us are no ordinary mists, but the shadow creatures suspended in temporary form that m they might cause no harm. I cannot control them much longer. I'm so tired and afraid. Use the mirrored globes you see around us to and release the shadows. Defeat them and all will be well and safe and good and ready. The creature averts to his former stuttering dialogue. Please, help me. I cannot do this alone. I'll help you, strange creature. The sadness of your tale stirs my heart. Okay, so I have to use these mirrored vaporizers. It seems the device will be deactivated if you press down on the center of the top of the globe. Dip it, take a deep breath and press down. You press the top of the globe and it gives slightly yet easily under your touch. The thick mist in this part of the chamber is sucked into the globe and the light column diminishes. Something has accreted out of the mists. Fragments of a dead god's hate and a fragment of a corrupt god's malice. So, special attacks, more special attacks, no. Is it a spell? Spell, special abilities, defensive and counter spell. Oh, regular special abilities, arcane archer, seeker arrow there. Yeah. That's not relevant to this fight, I don't think. Sea creature statue, I missed this before. An unknown sea creature, probably related to dolphins, but somehow different. Approaching it, you suddenly feel as if you're about to burst into tears, and a strange thought comes unbidden to the forefront of your mind. Whisperers in the darkness, ancient evils, hideous hissing, violence unchained, peaceful shores under a silver sky. So it shall be, so it ever has been.
Yeah, the secret arrow is probably best done with strong poison arrows. Let's go heal Perfbin. And Reagan a bit. Oh, I should Bard Song. that and can I have you cast I can have you cast last remaining pillar as soon as you touch this pillar a voice sounds in your mind directionless and impossible to determine whether male or female shh we are sleeping then another voice joins, and another, and another. Quickly, a cacophony is reached, and you jerk your hand away. Don't listen. Free us. Destroy them. Alright, they're already engaged now, so I don't have to worry, like, at all. Fragment of a Forgotten God's Claret. Get a lot of XP for killing the dead God's hates. Like, a ridiculous amount of experience. That's 800. Fragment of a septic god's fury. For glory. Uh oh. Reagan is down. That's really bad. Visage. No reason. Oh, is it blocked by Reagan? Because Reagan is down, but still there. Oh, and interestingly, the Septic God's Fury fragment is still there. To be looted. Metastatics is dead now. Is the door open? No? Is it maybe unlocked? 9 GP and a dream stone. This incredibly ancient object was created by a priestess of the goddess Mistril as a gift to the Church of Janeth after they provided assistance in the creation of new Earth-related spells. The priestess, who also went by the name of Dreamstone, created this incarnation of the Earth's nurturing and destructive powers to protect her new allies from all who might do them harm. 
It is rumored that the Priestess Dreamstone also wove into this item the power for two beings to communicate during their sleeping hours through dream imagery and symbolism, but it is unclear if this is true or how much of an effect might be created. Stone hold, stone to flesh, stone skin, and cure light wounds level 5. That's probably going to be sold, honestly. The creature lies prone, and you see no signs of life. The chest does not rise and fall, eyes close, and there is no movement at all. Without being able to control it, you feel a lump rise in your throat, and tears well up behind your eyes. Just cry. Slowly, the creature's lips open a tiny amount, and it's a voice, barely a whisper, emerges. Do not cry, Thredromare of the Elven people. I see a great silver ocean. A wonder. The sky is so peaceful, and I wish to walk in its warm waters. And you shall, metastatics. You shall. I shall never know my maker, for they are so long dead, there are none that know where they have gone. What is a god when there is no one to think of them? I lived after a fashion, yet I shall never know for whom I lived, or why. I am not sad, Thradromare of the elven people. For in this brief time we have had with each other, I have also known hope and have known fulfillment. And I do not think a life of these moments is a poor one. I made this possible for me without even knowing it. How is that possible? Metastatic's eyes flick for, open for a moment and gaze into yours with a passion. And finally I know myself, Thradromare, for I see myself reflected in your eyes. I've lived in eternity and never known what I look like. I am beautiful. You're an aspect of your creator, and they clearly made you in their likeness. I'm going now. Thank you, Thradromare of the Elven people. I love you. Goodbye. They're gone. Eh, let's be bardic. You sing and words flow freely. You sing from a deep part of your soul as passionately as you've ever sung before. More words come. The song is over. Somehow you know the door is open. That was... odd. Yeah, I don't understand any of what just happened here. Pipes of possibility. The death of the creature metastatic still weighs heavily on your heart, and you will never forget the lament you, that you sung in the House of Mists. How these pipes came to be in your possession is a mystery, but the haunting melody of that song sounds as close to perfection as you can imagine when played on them. Ooh, I can make a sequencer. It also has level 10 Eagle Splendor and Owl's Wisdom. Okay. How do I set up the sequencer? Do I cast spells on it? So can I cast mage armor? Yes, okay. So I can do that. Wounding whispers. Okay, so it's a uh, one spell sequencer. Um, in that case, do I have any higher level spell? No, because I haven't been taking bard levels. Can I store item spells in it, I wonder? Like, can I use Feeble Mind on it? Not use one item to enchant another. Okay. Um. So I can use the sequencer three times? I don't have ghostly visage, though. Oh, yeah, I do. So then I can actually sell the rod of ghostly visage. Because this is a just straight up upgrade. 
And this actually does belong on this screen because it's a casting item. Cast spell, bard, level two. Oh, I need to rest. Assign use sequencer. Okay, so now I can use that three times a day, and if I ever decide to go back into um, bard levels, I'll get more opportunities to make a sequencer that's better. Uh, so that can actually go into my bags of holding, or my bags of selling, as I've been calling them. All right, that was odd. Journal has been updated. A season in the mists. Oh, I can get rid of that one, at least. A creature in metastatics is gone. To where I'm not sure, but I fear to some oblivion. In the moments before its passing, metastatic seemed to bind some kind of peace and wisdom that I do not really understand and maybe can never fully comprehend. I feel I will never shake off the incredible intensity with which metastatics affected me, as if it was a being of pure tragic emotion. Indeed, so moved was I by the creature's passing that I sung as I've never sung before, a song that seemed to come from deep within me, and yet in some way moved through me without my consent. I feel truly blessed to have experienced this. I do like how hidden that quest is, though. Like, you have to go bother to go through the rummage sale, and then you have to actually think that the key is going to go somewhere. There's another cave here. Smuggler's Cave. Thank you, Perfman. Oh, maybe Ultra Vision helps here. I don't know the actual mechanics of the spell. Mm -hmm. like a forge in here. Nah. Yes. What do you want? There you go. All these traps that the guard nothing. Definitely for a quest. And the fact that I can tell that kind of sucks. Because there's literally nothing in here of value. Without the quest, which hasn't been the case so far, which makes it doubly weird, because Gillian's Hill, or, what's that what it's called? Yeah, Gillian's Hill Gang 
I just went in there and killed them, and the game was like, hey, someone's going to be interested in the fact you did that. Which was really cool. Okay. So is there a way up? This map is very strange in general. It really doesn't seem like there's a way up onto that section on the left. Maybe it's a main quest thing and that's why. Like, I'm not to the right act of the main quest. Alright. Um... So that really does mean that I don't have many more quests available to me. Um, wow! That's awful! That's a lot of gargoyles! That is a load of gargoyles, in fact! Why are they all... <laughs> Noise, the harpy noise. It's awful. Makes me feel bad to be alive. Taste steel, villainous rat. Taste steel, villainous. But these creatures are not very strong, luckily. Unfortunately, they just leave behind gargoyle skulls. The harpies leave money, at least. And a hit. Okay. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, yeah, come on. There you are. Yeah. Give me my encounter one XP. Oh god, is there more? Uh, I think I saw the last one was right by the exit, but hey, I made it out. So, let's see. I think the NPC I wanted to talk to here just isn't available yet, now that I'm thinking about it. So let's... Um, oh, I know. Let's bring him some sweets. Actually, the char. I can dump off some stuff while I'm here. Spear, greater restoration, silver necklace. Feral Skull, Bolts of Lightning, Rod of the Ghost. Wow, all in all, not a lot of value there. Oh yeah, there's the Amulet of the Morning Lord. Aid and Bless once a day each. The Vacid Resistance. He 
use an amulet of natural armor plus two. I think this actually fits you more even if it's the wrong god. And at this point I can not just sell the Sword of Paradis, the Horfrost Blade is too good. Um... Right, the Glowing Flail I actually have lost out on. Dreamstone is nearly a thousand. Okay. Something I can do for you. Let me see what you've got. Bye bye. One of each, actually. You might actually tell me how to get to that other area. Oh, wait, that's the way south. Bog bog. Oh. I was hoping to be nice. I assume the path here doesn't actually take me anywhere new. Yeah, just back to the wild pastures. Uh, all right. So next time on Let's Play Darkness Over Daggerford. I'm not, I'm still very much not strong enough to deal with that dragon. Um, and I have no idea where the burial totem is. So instead, let's talk to Yanni. I doubt anything will happen. But instead, we're going to have to do the main quest a bit. Hello. And a special item. No. See you guys then.